too many ways you can save money on airfare. No matter if you're using Kayak or Expedia or Orbitz or the airline's own website, the ticket costs the same wherever you look. Priceline is one option, but I've never had much luck with it and you don't know when you're flying. It could be any time between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. or if you're going international, between 5 a.m. and 2 a.m. the next day. If you've got a tight vacation schedule, you typically need to know when you're going. But if you care less about where you're going, well, you might want to check out getgoing.com. Get Going is a new site which gives you all the information about your flights, the times, the exact cost. You just don't know where you're headed. You have to pick two options. You click purchase and then it tells you where you're off to. So let's say you're heading from Los Angeles to Europe for a week. Well, you could pick Istanbul for $8.21 or Rome for $9.90. Both of those are a pretty good deal. Get Going says you save $171 on that flight to Istanbul. And if you look for those same dates on orbits, that looks about right. So you have to say you're okay with both options. And then only after you've purchased do you learn which option you've actually selected. Obviously, this is not for everyone. But sometimes you just want to take a trip somewhere anywhere, and this is a way to save money doing it. You can select by region, or you can select by experience. A beach, for example, could be Cancun, could be the Bahamas. Before you buy, you should look at hotel prices in each city, or you make sure you have friends to crash with in either. And if you're going on a larger trip to, say, Europe, remember, most cities are pretty close together, so it doesn't really matter that much if you're flying into Paris or Amsterdam. It's kind of an exciting way to travel. You might even find yourself trying it in your own life. So, where do you want to go to lunch? Indian or Mexican. Okay, which one? I don't know, surprise me. No, seriously, I'm starving.